We talked about sets having a variety of elements, right? Numbers, people, letters. So the sets can be made up of a lot of different things, but they can also be made up of sets. So we could have a set that actually one of the elements is a set itself. Okay, do you see that? That is a set as one of the elements where it might have two sets. Uh, four, 12. Okay, so there is a set. How many elements does this set have? Let's count them. One, two, three. Notice the entire set is an element. So that's three elements, four elements. So the cardinality of this set, let's go ahead and give it a name so we can refer to it. So that set, and then we can say that the cardinality of A is equal to four, right? Because it has four elements. So this set is one element in the set. So, the, the, um, and you can, so sets can just be elements, right? They can just be one of the elements. Another thing that can be an element is the empty set. So look at what this looks like. So let's say that we have oh, 2, 12, and then the empty set. The empty set, and then another set. And another element that's a set. Okay. So then, oops, that's backwards, huh? But you saw that. Okay. So now how many elements does B have, right? How many distinct elements? So what is the cardinality of B? Let's go ahead and look at this again. Let's see if we can count them. There's one, two, and the empty set as an element counts as one. So that's three, then four, five. So the cardinality of B is five. It has five distinct elements. And remember that if we have duplicates, right, it's still five because that's not distinct. So the cardinality of B is five. Now notice about the empty set. So the empty set is an element of B. Right, so we could say the empty set, and remember that what the element special character is? So let's find that, there's the element special character. So the empty set is an element of B, right? Um, but what about a subset? The um, empty set is a subset of B. The empty set is also a subset of B, right? We know that because the empty set is a subset of every set. So uh, let's make that, let's specify that is a subset of B. But also the set with the empty set as an element is a subset of B, right? Okay, so we can say all those things about the empty set as an element and as a subset. Now notice that the empty set is not equal to the set that contains the empty set. These are not equal. And what's the difference? So notice that the cardinality of the empty set is equal to zero, right? And the cardinality of the set that contains the empty set, oops, is equal to one. So the cardinality is different. So these two are not equal. So the empty set has a cardinality of zero, and the set that contains the element, the empty set, has a cardinality of one. So they're not equal but they're both subsets of B. So that is, that is the concept that sets can contain elements that are sets. Also, they contain the um, empty set as an element.